Today, we will not only work on our pronunciation, but also on our fluency. We will practice saying some of the most common expressions, idioms, and proverbs as if they were tongue twisters. This method will help you memorize these phrases because we'll apply the same principle as when we memorize rhymes, which is repetition. Plus, we'll work on the pronunciation of those phrases at the same time. So next time when you need to say them, you won't get stuck or anything because you'll know exactly how they go, plus your tongue and mouth will know exactly what to do. Or maybe you'd be interested in challenging yourself and seeing if you can master the pronunciation of these phrases. Honestly, that's probably one of the biggest things that drive me and help me improve. I love to challenge myself. I'll explain some things that might be confusing for language learners in fair detail, but it's not going to be a deep analysis. Although that would be the right thing to do, but I understand that long explanations are boring. This will be a very good and effective practice to train your mouth, tongue, and face muscles. We'll start with the idiom better late than never. I'm sure that most of you know it. It means that it is still better to do something even after it was supposed to be done than not to do it at all. I chose this one for starters because I want us to work on one very important sound in American English, a fast D sound, also known as a flap T or D, as in better, water, or bottom. There's also the voice TH sound, which is no less important. Right now, you can see the transcription of this phrase on the screen. And let me say it slowly and properly, enunciating every word so that you can hear it clearly. Better late than never. Better late than never. Say it as many times as you need this way slowly so that your mouth and tongue can get used to the movements they need to make to pronounce these words. In spoken American English, the word better is normally pronounced with a fast D sound. Not better, but better. The transition between a fast D sound and an R sound at the end of the word might be difficult. If it is hard for you, then take some time to work on this word by itself. In the word better, don't open your mouth too wide for the vowel sound. Not better, but better. To make a fast D sound, just let the front part of your tongue bounce against the roof of the mouth. In other words, make a flap. That's why it is called a flap T or D sound. Try it with me. Da da da, da 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 da, da da da. Da, 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 da. And we finish up this word with the schwa plus R sound. Try to make your tongue into the shape of a spoon. Push your lips forward. Your tongue shouldn't touch anything in your mouth and you should be able to hold this sound. Engage your voice. Err. Err. Now let's practice this word only. Better. 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 Better better. The word late would be pronounced with a stop T sound in this phrase because it is followed by a consonant sound and if you say it in a natural way using connected speech. You put your tongue into the position for the T sound but you don't release it. Instead, you go into the voiced TH sound. Late then. Late then. Late then. The word then is pronounced with a schwa sound. For the voice TH sound, you put your tongue between your teeth, use your vocal cords, and blow the air through your tongue and teeth. Your tongue should be relaxed and lightly vibrate. Th, th. It's a function word, which is why it is unstressed and reduced. Then, then. In the word never, the first E is stressed and pronounced as a short E, and the second one as the schwa, well, actually schwa plus R. So it's not never, it's never, er, never. Now let's listen to some native speakers say this phrase. This is one of those better late than never moments in life. I mean, it's something that Democrats have been calling for for a long time, so we're glad to see this happen better late than never. All right, let's practice saying it at a normal, natural, conversational pace with nice and smooth transitions. The ending of one word will be the beginning of the other. Better late than never. 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 Better late than never.
Remember that we're practicing saying these phrases as if they are tongue twisters, so say it a lot of times in a row. Our next phrase is the best of both worlds. I know, that's a good one. The voiced and voiceless TH and the word world are some of the hardest to pronounce for non-native speakers. But let me tell you this, if I can do it, you can do it too. This phrase means that someone has the benefits of two different situations or things at the same time. Okay, so we start with the voiced TH sound and we just talked about it. Pay attention to the word the. In this phrase, it's not the, it's the with the schwa at the end because it precedes the consonant sound and it is unstressed. Again, in the word best, don't open your mouth too wide for the vowel sound. Not best, but best. The word of is pronounced with a V sound at the end, not with an F. It's not of, it's a different word. It's of. In the word both, you want to pay attention to the long O sound. It's O, O, O. It's not both, it's both, both. In this word, we also have the voiceless TH sound. Do everything that you would for the voice TH, except don't engage your vocal cords and you won't feel any vibration. Both. Both. And now the word world. I'm going to break it down for you. We start with the W sound. Push your lips forward for this sound. W. W. It's not a difficult sound. The O in this word becomes the schwa. So the next sound will be the schwa plus R. Again, spoon your tongue. Don't let it touch anything in your mouth. Keep your lips pushed forward. Er, er, were, were. Now let's drop the W and let's add the L sound to the er sound. The RL transition is difficult, so practice this transition only. Earl, 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 Earl. When you're comfortable with this transition, add the D sound at the end and practice these sounds. Earled, 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 Earled. Now let's switch them up. Drop the D and add the W at the beginning. Whirl, 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 whirl. Now let's connect all the sounds together. World, 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 world. Well, and the final step is to add the S, which makes the Z sound in this word. Worlds 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 now let's listen to some native speakers say this phrase and then practice it i'm getting my cultural experience but i'm getting the best of both worlds thank you if you talk about a technique that says well what if we can have the best of both worlds okay okay say it with me slowly first and then faster and please say it with me don't cheat the best of both worlds the best of both worlds the best of both worlds. 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 Like a tongue twister. The best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. Let's talk about the sponsor of today's video because it fits perfectly with this topic of pronunciation as it's an app that helps people improve their pronunciation primarily, but also their intonation and fluency. Elsa speak. The way it works is you can practice saying different words, phrases, sentences, and even sounds by recording yourself and Elsa will pinpoint any mistakes you might make by using innovative artificial intelligence technology. And you will get instant feedback compared to a native speaker. The app has 40 plus real life topics and 1,600 plus lessons that range from business topics like everyday office conversations, job interviews, business travel, sales meetings, to casual everyday topics like movies, food and drink, education, and entertainment. 
It also has an amazing dictionary that shows you how to pronounce any words or phrases and community feature that allows you to add your friends and colleagues and compete with a leaderboard, as well as ask for help by posting a word you're struggling with and having friends help you correct it. I think it's super useful and I enjoy it a lot, just like a lot of you guys do. We've been working with them for quite some time now and we've gotten a lot of positive responses and reviews. You love that it is very convenient because you can learn anytime, anywhere, and I absolutely agree. Even my four-year-old son enjoys it. So go ahead and download it right now for free and get seven days of pro membership for free. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Now let me demonstrate to you how it works. You can click video conversation to practice conversations. Hi there. My name is Elsa. You can challenge yourself by speaking right away without prior listening to how it is supposed to be said, or you can listen to the line and repeat it. Let's challenge ourselves. Hello, Elsa. Nice to meet you. If you've mispronounced any words or sounds, you can click on them and listen to how they are supposed to be pronounced and practice them. Now let's try to say this whole phrase again. Hello, Elsa. Nice to meet you. Good enough. I also have an exclusive discount for you guys to get whopping 85% off of the Elsa Lifetime membership and 40% off of a one-year membership. All you have to do is just click the link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Okay, ready for the last phrase for this video? It's through thick and thin. Another good one, right? If you say this phrase, it means that no matter the circumstances, no matter how difficult life gets, you will stay with the other person. You will support them and be by their side. In the words through, thick, and thin, the TH sound is voiceless. In the words thick and thin, the letter I makes the short I sound. E. To make this sound, your mouth should be slightly open and relaxed, your lips will pull to the sides just a bit, and your tongue needs to be flat. When you make this sound, the sides of your tongue will be touching your molars, and the front part of your tongue will be behind your front bottom teeth. Use your vocal cords. E. 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 If you pull your lips too far to the sides, you'll end up pronouncing the E sound. E, 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 E. The word through might be difficult to pronounce. There's only three sounds in this word. Th, er, U. And yes, all of these letters make the U sound. So try to say them separately and then connect them together. Th, er, U, th, er, u, thur, thur, u, thur, u, through, through, through. The word and is a function word. It's unstressed and reduced, which is why we will drop the D sound and connect it to the TH sound in the following word. And the letter A will make the schwa sound. And thin, and thin. And thin. Personally, he walks with me through life, through thick and thin. Well, I've been with for 18 years, you know, through thick and thin. We'll start by saying these words slowly and separately, but then we'll need to link them together with smooth transitions. Linking the words through and thick might be difficult, but you'll get there with some practice. Through, thick, and thin. 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 All right, good job, everyone. We did great. We worked hard today. And just so you know, we are very grateful for your support, likes, and subscriptions, and comments. It means a lot to us, and it really helps our channel. Thank you for participating in today's practice, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!